The city of Hazleton is now in the national spotlight. More precisely, it's police department, and it's all about its crime fighting efforts. Yeah, the Arts and Entertainment Network, A&E's live PD crew, is going to be riding along with the Hazleton Police Department for the next year. The I-Team's Andy Mahalschuk joins us now from the Control Center tonight. Andy? Well, hey, Nick. Police Chief Jerry Spaziali tells me that producers of Live PD reached out to him to be part of the show. The chief says they were looking for a proactive police department in the northeast part of the country. Well, a crew spent several weekends with HPD and they liked what they saw. We have a vehicle, had a passenger side headlight out. We're going to stop them and make contact with them. Hazleton police officer Eric Hernandez pulls over a vehicle on Broad Street in downtown Hazleton. On your average night, nobody would even know this was happening. But stops like this and others in the future now have a worldwide audience. They like the Northeast kind of flair, I would say, you know, our personalities, the Northeast personality is something that interested them. Chief Jerry Spaziali was out of town today, but spoke to us on the telephone. He says the live PD crew rode along with his officers for several weeks back in February. The first episode, which was recorded, aired on April 12th. And being able to know that the criminal element can turn on a television and then spread it throughout the social media sites don't go to Hazleton and commit a crime because they are everywhere. And that's really what this message is all about. Mayor Jeff Cassatt gave Spezioli the green light to do the show. What about those who might say, well, we're, we're only shedding a bad light on Hazleton? That could be a negative. It's, it's not going to show negative. I mean, the, everything that happens, happens. Um, obviously, there's crime in every municipality in the country. This is just reality. This is not about uh, trying to show the city in a negative light. This is more about trying to tell the criminal element, we're here, stay out of Hazleton. We found, for the most part, favorable opinions, live PD being in Hazleton. I think right now it's a good thing because uh, the city has been making great inroads, uh, especially in our police department and what they've been doing. But it's not only about good PR. So financially it will help us because as a result of this, we will glean some funding, uh, similar to a corporate grant, I would call it. And this is going to be extremely helpful financially for me to put more police officers on the street. Now, Chief Spezioli and Mayor Cassatt said they could not release the amount of that money the city would be paid from the show at this point because of ongoing contract negotiations with that network. They hope to do so in the near future. Live PD is expected to be live in Hastland within the next several weeks. Reporting in the Control Center, Andy Mahal, Chicago Eyewitness News. I know it's a popular show. We get a lot of eyes, that's for sure. Andy, thanks. Live PD just marked its 200th episode. We did reach out to A&E Networks for a comment about the Hazleton connection. We have not yet had a response.